but can I turn? to go around. There's a bunch of cops over there. It's a Thursday night. Midnight of New Moon that came out. really in need of babysitters tonight because man oh man was it crazy at my theater holy shit I mean oh we had I want to say like 15 to 16 auditoriums we had running blue moon blue moon <laughs> new moon twilight saga now how crazy is that all these teenagers just up and down everywhere. Luckily, we didn't have too many problems. Usually with those type of youngsters, they don't you don't get too many um, issues with little younger teenagers, you know. The pre-teens, I like to say, even though they're probably 13. But, man, I'm glad that that's over. It's now 3.30 a.m. and I'm riding home with a bunch of truckers. Yeah, that's my life. Last night I got home at like 6 a.m. It sucked because I almost hit morning traffic. Oh. But I got to see New Moon a day before everyone else did. Yes, yes. It was good, of course. Way better than Twilight. And it's longer than Twilight, too. So if you guys didn't really like Twilight, but you do like the Twilight series, I would definitely recommend it. I'm gonna go around slowly on this corner because it's lightly raining. And for instance, okay, so mark this spot right, right there where all that debris is in the road. Coming home on a Saturday night last night, or last night, <laughs> Thursday, uh, last weekend, uh, with my boyfriend and he was driving, so I wasn't on my bike. <clears throat> he brought me home from work. And all of a sudden, we see this car zooming by us. We're in the slow lane like I was heading this way. And the other guy was in that lane over there. So he's, is, we're coming onto the ramp in the corner and everything, and he zooms by us at like 85 miles an hour. So <clears throat> we slow down, my boyfriend slows down, and I'm like, wow, that guy's going way too fast. So we'll keep watching him, keep watching him. He starts going into the corner, puts on his turn signal into the corner, and you just saw the ramp. It's not one of those, you know, you don't have to turn your, put your turn signals on. And then starts drifting into the slower lane, which we were in, not on purpose, runs into the shoulder, and then hits the barrier. Now, what went through my head, and the first thing I did was, I put my hand over my mouth and gasped. I gasped. I could not believe that that had happened. I'd never seen a crash before. I've seen aftermaths, I've seen plenty of aftermath crashes, but never in my life have I actually watched and witnessed a crash. So at that point in time, oh man, my visor's my, fogging my up. Uh, at that point in time, I'd asked Ward, I was like, hey, do you know if I, should I call 911? Like, what do I do? And he's like, yeah, call 911. So I got on the phone. Well, did you know that if you call 911, you have all this like prompt stuff like, uh, of course you have English and then it's in Spanish and and then it's like, is this an emergency? Say emergency. And I didn't know at the time if it was an emergency or not, so I just said emergency because I didn't know if anyone was hurt. Because after the guy crashed, so he crashed into the wall, spun around, and then crashed into it again. And I was like, what? And then he drove off. He drove off. And this exit right here, no, not this exit. It was the one before it, actually. Um, he got off that exit and then 
uh, just stopped and we saw his car and we pulled off with him. Uh, we didn't get out of the car because we thought he was drunk or something and we didn't want to deal with that. Um, and we saw his car, it's totally totaled in the front. Like, it was smoking, like not fire smoking, just like steaming. And we think we saw two people get out of the car. And, uh, let me get out of the way of this car. We think we saw two people running out. The other guy was staying behind his car. So the whole time we were, uh, on the phone with 911, I was in such a state of uh, shock that I couldn't really explain where we were. She kept asking me where we were located, and I was like, well, we went on I-5, and we got onto 217 through the ramp, and he crashed on the ramp. He's like, which direction I-5? And I was like, uh, uh, north. He's like, which direction 217? I was like, uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> so then Warren got on the phone with them, and he was able to chat him out, chat him about it, and tell him about it. But, I don't know, and I would ask, has anybody ever witnessed a crash? Please, explain. I mean, my boyfriend has also later said, you know, it would be cool if you caught that on video. And I was like, oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. Shoot. But, um, I don't think I would have vlogged at that point. I don't usually vlog when I'm coming home from work, so I'm normally extremely tired. But uh, I just had some cake because there was a party at our new moon extravaganza and uh, they didn't want their cake, so we got to take it. Woohoo! So, um, anyways, sorry. Off topic. Uh, at that point in time, I don't think I would have been vlogging, number one. And I also would not have been on my bike at that point because once I'm done with work, I have to change out of my uh, suit and get into my motorcycle gear so that would have taken me a long time and so if anything I probably would have seen the debris in the road and that was it which was good thing because my boyfriend actually ran into some of the debris so now after that crash I was super super cautious about going into turns and looking out for debris in the road I mean it on a Friday and a Saturday I was surprised there weren't any cops, actually. That were patrolling that area. But it, it looked like teenagers, it didn't look like a... Uh, an adult driving the car. But, oh, there was a cop right by. But yeah, please do explain, tell me about your experiences with crashes. But anyways, New Moon, we had about 14 lines outside of our theater, and it's so oh, massive, massive. People yelling and screaming, and, you know, once the trailers start, they scream! Once the movie starts, they scream! Once the lights turn on, they scream! Once the lights turn off, they scream! They scream for anything and everything, I swear. Hopefully they all have to go back to school tomorrow. And the teachers will know. Sorry if I keep moving my head back and forth. I'm trying to get the rain out of my eyes. And fortunately the teachers will know why all of their students are sleeping in class. <laughs> but at least, you know, if you think about it, the midnight showings for New Moon and big movies like that are better than, um, you know, it opening on a weekend, because if it was opening on a weekend, you, well, you'd get everyone wanting to see it. But on a midnight, if you have so many theaters open, there's a lot of chances that people can see it and don't have to see it during the weekend. 